What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, I want to show you guys what the new Ant-Man helmet from Avengers Endgame looks like if you put it on the old Ant-Man figures. Now, it's no secret that the old Ant-Man figures' helmets are so inaccurate because they've got this big open mouthpiece. Now, for a quick little history lesson, the reason that those mouthpieces are open like they are is because in the concept art for the first Ant-Man movie back in 2015, originally the helmet was going to have an open mouth so that you could see Paul Rudd talk with the helmet on. Well, later on in the production, it was actually changed so that the helmet would be closed, as is this helmet, but LEGO bases a lot of their figures and designs on concept art, so they had already started producing this helmet by the time the film was already when the final phases of being made. So the first Ant-Man helmet from 2015, of course, had the open mouthpiece, but then the Ant-Man and the Wasp helmet from 2018, for some reason, reused the same inaccurate helmet from 2015. So I'm not really sure why they reused the uh, inaccurate helmet and then just a year later they ended up giving us the correct looking helmet from Avengers Endgame so I'm not really sure what the reason is but there's no doubt that this helmet definitely is the most movie accurate so in today's video I want to go ahead and put this helmet on these figures and show you guys what that looks like okay so first up we've got the 2015 Ant-Man and of course this helmet just looks absolutely amazing uh, I can't believe how great this looks and you know in the Ant-Man movies, you can actually see his eyes through the helmet, but for whatever reason on this design, they ended up just kind of glossing them over and not showing the eyes, but it's not a deal breaker. But anyways, that's what the helmet looks like on the 2015 version of Ant-Man. And then we've got the 2018 version of Ant-Man, which of course is the Ant-Man and the Wasp version. And this looks so great, arguably even better than the 2015 version. Uh, I think that it's just nice and robust and it just really complements the rest of the suit well. I love that this gray color is the same as all of the grayish silver colors on the torso. And it just really, really works for me. So I hope you guys like this one and let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, guys, well, I hope you liked this video. It was a lot of fun to make. Something quick and simple for today. But once again, drop a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see next on my channel. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Avengers customs just like these. And other comic properties and movies and all of that fun stuff. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. So until next time, build on. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.